What is even more special about Suzanne is that she is one of only a very few Prevention Plus lecturers in the US. So Suzanne travels around the country um, doing her Prevention Plus lecture to literally thousands and thousands of speakers. She's part of a team, Dr. Mitra Ray, Dr. Richard Du Bois, Dr. Dave Phillips, who are the, I guess, the figureheads for advocating um, wellness around our products. And she has a wealth of knowledge about health and wellness in general. And what I also know about Suzanne, and I'm sure she won't mind me sharing this, is that she's a breast cancer survivor, which, you know, her story just around that alone has been hugely incredible. So thank you, Suzanne, for once again, for sharing a hotel room with you. I will never forget that. <laughs> I'm now going to hand the space over to you and I'm going to make you the host because I know that you want to be able to share some slides with everybody and I'll let you take it away. Oh, Tamara, thank you so much. It was such a great honor to be asked and yes, we shared a we shared a room together at one of the conferences and what a great time we had. So thank you so much for inviting me tonight. And um, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and share my, share my screen. So yeah, so this is my story and my healthy living through good nutrition, food over medicine lecture that you guys are gonna be listening to tonight. And what I love about this is that I started as a nurse, you know, like 40 years ago. And I know I'm not the one at the top left right there, you guys, but I am the one at the top right in the late 70s that I became a nurse. And I absolutely knew from the, well, when I was in fifth grade, I wrote in my diary, uh, in my journal, when I was in fifth grade, of course, it was like, hey, when I grow up, I want to be a nurse or a dot, dot, dot. So I just always knew I wanted to be a nurse. And what I loved about that is in different um, categories of being a nurse, you could be in different fields. And so towards the, um, towards the, about when I was in my 30s, I chose children's emergency room, pediatric emergency, and then on to neonatal intensive care. And if you guys know, you can see that right here that, you know, the uniforms changed, but everything stays the same as far as, you know, our babies coming into the world, sometimes really early. And... I loved that part of being able to help these moms and so much so that I would ask to be on the resuscitation team. So every time I came in and got my assignment for the night, and we had a 30 bed ward in Atlanta, Georgia, it was huge. And I would ask to be on the resuscitation team so that when a mom came in early or the baby was, they knew it was gonna be a high risk, they would call up and two of us would run down to this delivery room and, and save these babies. And talk about stress. I mean, I had a, a husband, I had two daughters that were young, and then this high stress job, it was very stressful. So I, I am not alone in here. You know, look around here on the people that are on this call tonight, Tamara, Braun, you know, and I think of like Natalie, Abby, Jade, Ange, and Adrian with two young kids and one new baby. So those are things that we are stressed. Life gives us a lot of stress, whether we're a, a high stress nurse or stay at home mom or in between, anywhere in between of what we choose as stress. And I want you to just think about this. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about stress and what it does to our bodies. And oxidative stress is part of, you know, that's part of life. If you think of stress as, say, a fireplace and you're burning a fireplace, and when you put logs on there, it creates sparks, right? And when it goes into the carpet, those sparks create a little burn mark. Well, inside our body is the same thing. Our oxidative stress, when we have that, and then all of a sudden our oxidative stress gets really bad and it creates free radicals. So our free radicals are just like those little burn marks that are on the carpet from the, from the uh, fire that we've had but ours is metabolism and it's just a natural part of our body, but we create free radicals and they go into certain parts of our body. So the rate of damage determines your rate of aging and your risk of disease. It can be increased and we know that because of, you know, is the baby crying? Is, you know, somebody on call, like Tamara gets a call and she has to go in. Those are high stress. I mean, there's things that we have to take care of as all of us do in our lives and that's how our, metabolism increases, our heart rate goes up, and that's an increase in your oxidative stress. 
which is an indicator of free radical increase also. But it can be decreased. And so that's what we're gonna talk about tonight, about being decreasing our oxidative stress called prevention. So the cardiovascular system, we also often think of the cardiovascular system as our heart. And how many of us do? Oh, our cardiovascular heart, lung, you know, we just don't realize that it's part of your head and neck. So when you have strokes, that's cardiovascular. Your legs are still cardiovascular. It has all to do with circulation. And then your aorta, which is your main branch inside your body of carrying, uh, you know, oxygen and carrying blood away from our heart. And so sometimes you hear of aneurysms and those are oxidative stress hits that are going on inside our body with these different health challenges that happen. So as we go on, we want to talk about the endothelium. And the endothelium, and you guys, this is the most technical I'm getting, okay? I love the endothelium thought because it's a one layer thick cell that lines every body part, every inside of our body, okay? And it controls our artery function. So it's really important when we are, you know, thinking of our blood pressure that we want that lining to be just so healthy so that it can expand and contract as a normal blood pressure and heartbeat. It protects our wall integrity and it's affected by free radicals. And those are the things that, you know, you and I can help with too. So we think of cholesterol, and that's what's going to go with the free radical part of this. Cholesterol is a normal part of our body. It's a byproduct of our you know, eating and everything. So cholesterol is a big part of it. You know your LDL, HDL. We think of those, our HDL is a good cholesterol, and our LDL is the bad cholesterol. But we need them both. You know, we just have to have them in the range of what's healthy. So just think of those little sparks, those free radicals, when they hit that cholesterol molecule, the LDL, it causes a lipid peroxide. And the lipid peroxides go into that, underneath the endothelium wall, and it starts to build up in there. And we don't want that. So we look at that, and that's called plaque. And you guys have seen people that have, you've heard of them, that have died you know, instantly of a heart attack, or they need bypass with them stents inside their heart. Well, this is what's happening. You know, just that last um, big fat meal did not cause that heart attack. But what we ate since we were children adds up and it does start building plaque. And so we have to be aware of that, of the things we put into our body. And we say, you know, in moderation, well, what's moderation? Are, you know, two candy bars instead of four candy bars a day moderation? You know, let's look at this too and, and be serious about this is the rest of our lives we have to take control of and help our children get through this. So what can we do? A lot of fruits and vegetables, we know those are antioxidants. And our antioxidants, are what we need to cross over. I don't know why my thing just froze. I'm sorry, Tamara, hang on one second. Let me see if I can get it go to go to the next one. All right, I'm gonna start there. So the antioxidants, when we go ahead and um, add the antioxidants, it will decrease the free radicals and then it will take away the, the foam cells or those yellow cells that we saw earlier in that, in that um, slide. And you know, one of the biggest things that I can say about that is Dean Ornish has a great book and it's called Reversing Heart Disease. So we know the things that can reverse heart disease and his book explains it all. Even meditation and yoga, you guys, we just, we have to have the full gamut of rest, good food, you know, relaxation. It's not just one thing that's got to change. And one of the things that we can talk about after our cardiovascular system is our diabetes epidemic that's going on in all over the world, not just United States or Australia. And, you know, in fact, it's interesting because they had to change adult onset 
like 25 years ago to type two diabetes because our kids were getting them so young. We're getting diabetes so young that they had to change the name because it used to be adult onset met over 40. And now we're seeing six, seven, eight year old kids with diabetes and it's frightening. And why? Look at, we have, you know, the obesity and create cavities and cravings and the things that sodas can do, you know, we just, there's, that's not just one thing. We also know that, you know, what our choices is, it's not just wheat fix or sweet fix over here. You know, we just have to watch what we're putting into our body. And look at the sizes, you guys. It used to be, you know, seven ounces. And now we can get huge super size me anywhere at 7-Eleven. I was so surprised when we went in there. It's, I shouldn't be, that it's, you know, the big gulp and all the, the big things they have over there. So, um, in 7-Eleven. So it's amazing to me how big our sizes are getting. And even our you know, hamburgers and french fries, you know, they're not the small ones like we used to have. So I'm just going to quick go through this because, you know, I went on to the Australian site. You guys also have this site that shows how quickly the trends are happening in obesity rates um, for Australians. But here's Americans real quick. It's just going to go through from 1985 to 2009. We're going to go through it, but look at the difference in here. So they really didn't have a lot of projection over into in 1985. And then they started adding the light blue and then the darker blue was getting, you know, a little more weight going on, obesity going on in these different states. And obesity is a greater than 30 BMI and over 30 pounds for five foot four person. So just watch this. We're just going to go through 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Look at this whole state. And this is happening in Australia too. So 99. And now you can see Louisiana, um, uh, Alabama, those places down there of, you know, our friends that live there, Tennessee. And it's just amazing how big people are getting and how we are changing sizes of seats in the airplane because of the necessity. And now look at us, we're going to 30%, over 30%. And so it, it just, it, it blows my mind at how big we all are getting and, and it's just commonplace now and it's acceptable. And so I say that not only is it the obesity and the cardiovascular problems from free radicals, it's also cancer, arthritis, asthma, autoimmune problems. We never had, you know, autoimmune system problem. We didn't even know fibromyalgia. That was not in my nursing books 40 years ago. So, you know, it's just things that are happening in our life that Crohn's disease, pregnancy complications, um, neuro neurologic disease and macular degeneration. We know that a half a cup of spinach every week decreases your chance of macular degeneration by 60%. And, you know, so we just have to learn to eat more spinach and things like that. But where do we get our whole food nutrition? We have to eat more fruits and vegetables. We know the five to nine. Remember the five a day process that we used to have. And, but we know that now five to nine is not enough. We have to have nine to 13. And how many of us can do that? We'd have to quit our job to eat, you know, five to nine and now nine to 13 different raw fruits and vegetables. And you know, they have to be raw. They have to be fresh. And how many of us don't do that? I mean, I think of, you know, like in the South where I lived, they had fat back or ham and bacon, and they put it into everything to make it taste better. Beans, you know, everything just for that reason so that it would taste better. But goodness, look at, look at how big Americans are getting. But most Australians even, they do not eat less, they don't eat five servings a day. And what they do is unripened and cooked. So those are problems that we have to deal with too. And we think of, you know, the different fruits and vegetables that we have in our life and that these were given to us, you know, by the universe, by God to give us to eat. And I think of like even the carrot, you can see right in the middle there, the pupil, and you guys have seen these slides before of how good uh, the carrot is for your eye. Lycopene is such a great antioxidant. And so when we need, I mean, beta carotene, when we need beta carotene and we need vitamin A, 
that beta carotene from the carrot turns into two molecules, splits into two molecules to give us vitamin A. So we have two vitamin A molecules from one beta carotene molecule. So we know our body knows how to fix itself and give itself vitamins and minerals. We don't need to be bombarding ourselves with fruits or for, with um, vitamins and minerals that we our body doesn't recognize. So same thing, brain health. Oh my gosh, omega-3s, how great is that? And it's in the shape of a brain. When we have stomach aches, don't we usually go for the ginger? And it really helps calm that down. It's such a good antioxidant for our stomachs. And look at our heart. We're in chambers. And the lycopene in the heart is so good for the heart. I mean, the lycopene from the tomato is so good for the heart. And the tomato has different chambers. It's all together you know, when you think of your different body parts, even your arm is in the shape of celery. Well, celery is really good for bone health, but it's, I just think it's so interesting how that is, you know, developed like that, kidneys for your kidney, for your kidneys. So I know that in um, the cancer society in America says, reduce your risk. And if they thought that vitamins or anything like that helped that, they would have vitamins on this chart. It would not be fruits and vegetables. But how many of us, you know, want a quick fix and a quick, you know, vitamin or a mineral that we can take that we've heard from, you know, Prevention Magazine or the magazine we've read recently. You know, we know that fruits and vegetables can help prevent many different diseases, not just cancer. So, uh, here we go with our, this is why I started 20 years ago um, telling people about Juice Plus, but I started taking Juice Plus 22 years ago. My husband had brought it home and I thought, you know what, you're an emergency room doctor and I'm a children's ER nurse. We're vegetarians. We don't need this. And he said, well, we need more of a rainbow. So I think we should try this. So he did and he had more energy in about two weeks. And you know what, I didn't want him to get ahead of me. So um, I think that's probably why I'm not married anymore because I'm way too competitive. So I said, you know what, if you're going to take it, I'm going to take it. And we have five kids between the two of us. So we all started taking Juice Plus. And I'm telling you what, it's 30, 33 whole food. You know, it's a food label, phytonutrients, non-GMO, dairy-free. NSF certified is huge, you guys. Third party quality, is just, it says, you know, what's in those bottles have to be on the label. That NSF, you know, that's the standard that we go by. And like some of the athletes in the United States, uh, like Boston Red Sox, they're part of my team. They are on Juice Plus. But, you know, the beautiful part of that is that there's this list that they have. And if it's NSF certified, these capsules are on that list. So we know that the people that are getting, you know, multi-million dollar contracts and the kids going to college, they won't lose their scholarship for something that's enhanced by the product. No, Juice Plus is just pure. And it's got 39 plus clinical research studies. And that's how I can hang my hat on Juice Plus with, you know, a science background and the wonderful, you know, science that I can read. And you can often go to your website and to the person that invited you to this, to their website and go to the research and read these articles on what Juice Plus is and what it does in your body. So now we have the beautiful Omega Blend. It's the next best thing to Omega, the, the, to the fish oil. We bypassed the fish and went straight to the source to bring you a blend of five Omegas from algae berries and seeds. So we have Omega 3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. I just, I just think that's so amazing that we would know that the fish um, eat. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so anyway, the algae is where the fish are getting the omega. They're eating the plants. The fish are eating the plants. The plants are full of omegas. So we have bypassed the fish and gotten right to the omega algae in the ocean. So we don't have to worry about are the fish contaminated? Are they you know, farm raised, you know, we just don't have to worry about that. So they've done a great job with quality control on that also. So here is the beautiful part of Juice Plus. It's over 50 
fruits, vegetables, grains, you know, everything that you would want every day in your body. It's not vitamins, it's whole food nutrition. So it's fruits and vegetables in a capsule, berries in a capsule, and then the complete powder, which is you know, a, a way, great way to have your breakfast or snack. And right now we're doing a program where we add that in every day just as our breakfast and then as our lunch or dinner. So we'll talk about that in a little while too. But just look at everything you're getting in your body every day. Do you consume that every day? I know I don't. Even as a vegetarian back 22 years ago, I couldn't get that into our bodies. And so we had asthma, allergies, migraines, ADHD. My kids did and just being on Juice Plus three to four months, they were off their inhalers, off their um, migraine medicine, and my stepson was off his ADHD medicine within four to five months after we started on Juice Plus. So it's a big deal to me to know that this is going in their bodies and it's pure. So another part of this too is the studies that we were talking about that we show that it's absorbed by the body, it reduces oxidative stress, it reduces key biomarkers of systemic inflammation. It supports a healthy immune system. It helps protect your DNA, supports cardiovascular wellness, and supports healthy skin and gums. And that's just part of this. There's 39, can you imagine going through 39 different studies? And the company could have said, you know, let's just do an infomercial at two o'clock in the morning and we can sell Juice Plus that way. But 20, Two, 23 years ago, they took a responsible next step and they started doing science to show what happens in our bodies. So we can be assured when we're telling friends and family and they can trust us that once they start adding Juice Plus, they may not feel any different, but their blood is going to change and the things inside their body is going to make a difference. So the University of Maryland School of Medicine is one of my favorite studies of the JAC, Journal of American College of Cardiology study, done at the University of Maryland. And you can see right here, you guys, it was done on the, with the fruits and veg and the fruits, veg, and berries. And they had 38 participants in this. And the reason I love this is because I can explain this to people and I don't, I don't have to know all 39 studies to tell everybody this is one that I love. So I've learned what was behind it, behind the scenes of what Juice Plus did. And so they took these 38 participants and they measured their blood pressure. You can see it right here. Um, the placebo, orchard and garden, orchard and garden, vineyard, blend. They all started at that zero at the very top, day, day zero, okay? And they took the blood pressure and they left that blood pressure cuff up and, and you know, they pumped it up and left it on there for five minutes. Can you imagine how painful that is? And that, but how much, there is not much circulation going on there after five minutes. And then they let it go. Then they took them over to McDonald's, oops, to a fast food place and they gave them 50 grams of fat for breakfast. So can you imagine how, it's pretty easy when you go to fast food to get 50 grams of fat. And they measured that blood pressure um, on the, first day, on the 21st day, and on the 28th day. And look at the difference on this, you guys, between the placebo, the orchard and garden, what a huge difference on day 28, you know, 68% on day 21 to add orchard and garden blend on better, better blood flow, okay? But when they added that vineyard, 98% much faster blood flow. Doesn't that tell you how important it is? We can't make claims, but we know that this could be helpful for heart. And I always think of diabetics that, you know, they really suffer with, you know, the bottoms of their feet, their tingle, you know, their neuropathy. There's poor circulation. So this is a big deal for the three blends, you know, to have that in there. And then now our fourth blend with the omegas. So this one to me is one of my favorite favorite studies that there, are, there is out there. But I also know that the immune system study helps with a healthy immune system. And I know that these studies show so many things, but what it's done for my family is where it gets me so, it's so solid and so enthused that this has helped us for 22 years. My sister-in-law right here has MS 
And she was diagnosed, you know, 20 years ago and started taking Juice Plus about 18 years ago. And since then, you know, she has not had an uh, inflammatory burst because she doesn't get the colds and flus. You know, if she does, it's very mild. And that's a huge deal when you have MS, not, you know, to have these different things happen so that your immune system is the healthiest it can be. So to me, that is one of the biggest things I could ask for. And then, yeah, Mike, Tamara was saying, you know, I was here four years ago, you guys. And when I went back three years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I was absolutely shocked. I just felt like, you know, I was over here four years ago. Melissa had, my daughter, Melissa, lives here in Perth. And she had me doing all these exercises and all these wonderful things to stay healthy. And we ate healthy. And then she even had me do the Spartan race. And I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but I thought I was going to die. It was so intense. It was like a, unbelievable um, just a, a huge race, but I got through it. I got my medal and I felt like I was in great shape. So when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, it absolutely shook my world. I told the doctor, you know what, I'm going to let you hang up and you can call me back because I'm not tolerating this. I was not really very nice when I got that, when I got that diagnosis, but you know what, I had to deal with that. And you know, she was really kind about it. She is in Juice Plus in our community. And I went four hours every week from Traverse City, Michigan, down to Detroit, Michigan, where she was a physician, to be treated by her. Because she was a breast cancer specialist all, all around the Northern Michigan and the Midwest. So I knew I was gonna be taken really well care of, but I also knew that um, uh, my nutritional status was fantastic. And I knew that God helped me and I knew that my nutritional status was perfect. But really interesting that my mom and dad, um, or my mom went through this, you know, when she was in her 50s, which I was in my 50s, 57 when I was diagnosed. And it was the same cancer. It was the same breast. It was exactly the same. So I just figured it must be genetic. And, you know, it's not anything I did or, you know, anything like that. And so I did the testing, I did the genetic testing and mine came back negative. So I, BRCA1, BRCA2, my mom did not transfer that onto me. I did, I will not be transferring that onto my daughters genetically, but you know what? I learned how to cook for my mom. I, it's not, I'm not blaming my mom. I'm just saying that the, our environment, the things that we choose, those are things that our stress level that we have got to take control of because it's not just us. It's our children, you know, they have oxidative stress. We know they do because they scream and, you know, they have a higher risk of disease and cancer. One out of three of these kids are gonna get cancer in their lifetime. So I don't want that to be one of my children. And so I know that I'm doing the best I can by adding more fruits and vegetables into their body. And, you know, we love our children to be a little bit orange. So we were talking about that beta carotene. That's a good thing. You know, it comes out of your skin what you don't use. I love that part. And good health starts at home. So we know that the children's research, the healthy start for, for families, is really an important part of Juice Plus. We saw that the people between 20 and 40, um, you know, they wanted to be on Juice Plus but maybe they had a budget that they had to stick to and they didn't want to not have it for them, but not have it for the children. So the company in 1999 started um, this Healthy Start, a children's research, and there's over a million children and a million adults already enrolled around the world that when you participate in it, one adult is, can participate with adding on a child for free for up to four years. And look at the difference it's making in the family. I mean, you know, 60% missing, missing less, you know, missing fewer school days. And 61, we're eating more fruits and vegetables. You know, that's really important because one of the things that I've noticed is food is our cell memory, food memory, is that, you know, here's one of my friend's daughters that she started Juice Plus on the gummies and about two months into it, she went into the refrigerator and just got a raw ear corn. How many of our kids would do that? But you know what? She craves it. She craves those things. And you'll notice that too when you start taking Juice Plus of how much you change. My kids used to have ice cream at night. And um, after they started on Juice Plus, they started to ask for a salad. So 
Yes, I know that cell memory is, uh, is very much alive and well. So we know that we're talking about the complete, that it's gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO, omega-3s, low glycemic, vegan, plant protein, and safe for children. It's that easy. The whole gamut, the fruits and vegetables and vineyard, um, berries, and then the omegas and the complete. What a great way to get all the fruits and vegetables and a great meal in this complete. So my few last stories, um, there's a couple last stories. Akiva is a friend of mine in Memphis, Tennessee, and he was such a tall guy and, and a big guy that I didn't realize what was going on in his body until he said, you know what? I've lost 113 pounds. And I said, oh my goodness, how did you do that? Because he's a truck, oops, because he's a truck driver, I gotta go back up. He was in his car every day. But once he started taking Juice Plus, he started to change his eating habits, drinking more water, getting more sleep, and then he felt like exercising. It's a beautiful cycle. Once we start that, we know how much better we feel when we eat well. And so just think, if you added Juice Plus in the complete, how it can change your eating habits. Like we said, the cell memory, drinking more water, getting restful sleep, and then exercising. It is a beautiful cycle. So just know that, you know, I'm amazed at how people can lose weight, but this is not a weight loss program. This is a get healthy program. Because we, I have this wonderful girl named Nicole that's on the opposite side of the spectrum. She was a cheerleader, competitive cheerleader, um, really you know, like a regional golf champ. She was fantastic, you know, straight A student, 5'4 and 115 pounds. And you know what? she had an eating disorder. She developed one at about 16 years old. And it rocked my world because it's my daughter. I can't tell you the despair that I had that I didn't know how to take care of her and how to help her. But I know that I said yes to, to Juice Plus 22 years ago for such a time as this, because I knew that either she threw up or she restricted but she took her juice plus and I knew she had that good nutrition and the grace of God got us through this. And so now she is like awesome. She's 34 and just a wonderful daughter. We went to New York city and um, Melissa was in town and we all met there just to be together and just to celebrate life. And that's what this is all about. You guys just being the most healthy we can be. And you don't need to have a new year. You don't even need a Monday. You need to start now. And we were talking about the Shred 10, and please get with the person that invited you tonight because this is all about 10 days of eating healthy. There's no pressure, you know, it's just being part of a secret group that really helps us with recipes and, you know, you know, just really cheers us on. And that's what I love about this whole community because you have, a, you have choices tonight. You, you have three choices. Um, it is the most thoroughly researched brand name nutritional product on the market today. And you can either go ahead and try to, you know, go to your backyard and dig it up and start to eat more fruits and vegetables from what you've grown. Or you can start adding Juice Plus today and grab the person that invited you and, and learn more about that. And the third one is to add Juice Plus to your diet, but also join us in this mission. You know, everybody loves a side gig. This has turned into a full-time gig for me, you know, 20 years ago right away. And I help more people outside of the emergency room than I ever did on the inside of the emergency room. So take a serious look at this tonight, you know, and talk to people, you know, mainly we want people to know about Juice Plus and be on Juice Plus because we want everyone to live life to the plus. And that's what this is all about, is just helping people to get through life and get through healthy. And that's what I wanted to thank you guys for having me tonight and just letting me tell my story and be part of your, your lives here in Perth. Oh, Suzanne, that was amazing. What a wealth of information. I know that there is something there for absolutely everybody. So I just wanna say on behalf of everybody, um, thank you so much for giving up your time today. We love the fact that you are in Perth, you're coming along